welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the U-Loop HF loop antenna. Now, this specific generalization of a Mobius loop has been floating around since 2017, but in the recent months, it's become a bit of a buzzword in the shortwave listening community. Now, with that being the case, I set out to acquire one, which was provided to me by Moonraker.eu as part of an indoor SDR antenna kit. The kit consisted of a U-loop antenna and a disc going antenna, which I will cover in another video. The U-loop itself comes packaged quite nicely with the phase inverter and ballon pre-assembled, making its construction quite easy and quite quick. Now in the package, we get two one meter lengths of semi-rigid RG402 coax, which is used for either side of the loop. We then get one two meter length of RG402 which connects the ballon as a feed line to your receiver. Now, as the loop coax is semi-rigid, it really helps to keep that loop shape. Now, as mentioned before, the U-loop can be used indoors for those that are unable to install it outside. Hanging the assembled U-loop up against your window will provide enough performance to get you receiving HF signals from 10 kilohertz up to 30 megahertz. Now for me, I installed mine outside onto a six meter telescopic fiberglass fishing pole. This was then attached to a further support to provide more height above ground. I'll probably say around six to seven meters total above the ground. Now, before we get into a demonstration of the reception, let's take a brief look at the specifications. Now, one thing to point out, if you haven't already guessed, is that this is extremely portable due to its small size and how easy it is to assemble and be on the air. Initially, it covers from 10 kilohertz up to 30 megahertz, but it can also act as a folded dipole for VHF reception up to 300 megahertz. Some of the other benefits of the U-Loop is that it's a passive design, meaning that you do not need to provide any power for it to work. However, you can use a low noise preamp at the antenna feed point if you want to. Now there is no manual tuning required, and this is partly related to the use of the low loss wideband ballon that forms part of the U-loop. This means you can just assemble, plug in your receiver, and off you go. Now let's take a look at some of the bands to see how well this performs, but please note that the performance will vary depending on your location, how you've mounted the antenna, the time of day, and the conditions of the band. Now at the time of recording this video, the HF bands were actually in a terrible state with hardly any DX coming through. Now this was also confirmed when I switched over to my NFED half-wave antenna that I normally use for RX and TX below 30 megahertz. <laughs> Whatsoever. I mean, they, they can't, he can't say, well, it's in case we got late injuries. No subs whatsoever. Amazing. Uh, Tom's a Liverpool fan. What do you think, Tom? Uh, yeah, as I said, uh, I, think, I think Mourinho is just, uh, he's just a sore loser. Be best, t best team? No. L Liverpool haven't lost for 66 matches at home, yeah? And they didn't even look like losing last night. 
didn't even look like it. Or is it You've insulting got... or rude or... Um, what, what is the way in which you can help somebody without well, it being patronising? Well, if you know somebody, then it's things like, you know, I've got too much, can you take some off my hands? It's that type of territory. Or actually, I managed to order too many of the same thing because I wasn't on top of it, will you take some off it? Like, we have a WhatsApp group in the street which is really, really socially and economically mixed. And people... Now, as mentioned earlier, the U-Loop can also be used on VHF, up to 300 megahertz for reception. At the time of creating this video, there wasn't much activity on the 2 meter band, but I was able to hear a 2 meter SSB beacon, which was over 100 kilometers away from my home. So, it works. Now you may have noticed that on the specification list, there was a maximum power rating of 250 milliwatts which kind of suggests that you can also transmit through the U-Loop. Now I didn't try transmitting, but out of interest, I did connect my Nano VNA to see if it was resonant anywhere between one and 300 megahertz. Now here is the VSWR plot, and I'll leave it up to you to decide whether transmitting on this antenna would be a good idea. Well, there we go, guys. That's a brief overview of the U-Loop antenna. Now, if you guys have purchased this kit or you've made it from plans that are out there on the internet, Please let me know how you got on with this antenna. What were the results for you? Leave them down in the comments section below. I'll be interested to find out. I'd also like to take this opportunity to say thanks to all my patrons who support me on a monthly basis. And also a massive thank you to all of those YouTube members that have clicked the join button and also contribute on a monthly basis. And until the next video, stay safe, take care. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.